So UiPath have introduced a new action that will allow us to create autonomous agents to fill any type of form online. This type of robot would only be a dream two years ago. But now, thanks to large language models and computer vision, it became a reality and we can have a robot with minimal changes that will go to any website, understand the context and use the data that we just gave it and start to basically write inside of that website and do the work for us. So today we're going to see how we can create this robot and how we can basically use it to fill any type of form online. And at the end of this video, you will have this autonomous agent to yourself as well. So you can play around with it. That being said, let's jump to my screen. So the first simple website that we are going to work on is going to be this one. So we have a lot of fields and then we have a click on here on submit. We're going to try to create a robot that would be able to fill this form using AI and the data that we will provide, we will have it inside of uh, basically a, a form that I have on a Google spreadsheet. So this is the data and this is the website where I will be filling the form. And then we're going to go to another website to basically prove that the same process can work on this website on a totally different website that has nothing to do with this one. So now let's go back to UiPath and start working. Let's create a new process. Let's call it fill form. And here it's very important. Choose cross platform. So let's choose cross platform and let's click on create. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do is go to manage packages and make sure that the UI paths, the UI automation, the activities is updated to the latest version 23.12 preview. If you don't have this, just make sure that you've already checked include pre-release inside of here. So let's click on the blue button here to update it and let's click on save. Good. Now we are good to go. Let's start with the first thing, which is reading the data. Let's start by using a uh, read range activity. And this read range is going to be this one that we have under Google Workspace and Sheets, not the other one that's, that's using Excel online, but this one. You can use both, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to use this one. But we just need basically the data where we are going to get our, uh, get our data table. So now we have the spreadsheet. If this is your first time using it, you have to configure a connection. So you have to click on this little gear icon here and click on add new connection. And then you will click on connect. Here, choose your email. I will choose this one. And now click on continue and you can give it all of the uh, access. I already have the access. If you have something to check here, just to check it and give it access to basically read the data that you want to use. Let's continue. And yep, now it has been successfully authenticated. And now basically I will have this connection that I will be using in order to, uh, to, to read the data. Now I will choose a spreadsheet from my Google Drive. I already have one at home. So here I have a demo UA. This is the one that I'm going to be using. And here I will go to my drive and then I already have it here. So this is my spreadsheet that I will be using and then it will automatically detect the sheets. So I will choose sheet one and that's basically it. I will go to the output and then click on control K to set the variable and I will call the variable table. That's good. Now let's go to the fun part where we automate in the online form filling. So let's use the activity use browser under UI automation. So let's click here. Let's drag and drop. Now let's select the website. Let's click here and it's already detected the website inside of my Chrome. It has to be Chrome for the moment. So let's click on Bootstrap, it detects the URL of the web website automatically. And now what I will be doing is, uh, yeah, by the way, here I chose sheet one. If I go back to here, you will find that sheet one has this data in it. 
and this is basically the data that we want to write inside of this website so now we will use the activity that actually uses ai which is form filling or fill form yeah fill form so this is the activity under ui automation that uses the ai parts and it basically goes and explores the website and starts writing inside of it all we need to do now is give it a data source which is our table that we have defined before and that is basically it we're finished we don't need to type into we don't need to click we don't need to do anything it will go and start writing itself so that's basically it now let's launch the process and see if it's going to work let's click on run file okay i'll get my hands to myself and let's see if it's going to work and as you can see it started to work itself it starts to select it recognizes radio box it recognizes the drop box uh so many other uh, data types and it start writing in itself and that's basically it so it has been able to detect the format of the table get the data out of that table from the from from the data now from the header and then went to basically match the header with everything else and started writing itself so that is already great now what if we don't want to write only one row we want to write multiple rows we want to write multiple rows and every time we want to click on submit like for example here if we click on submit we see that we have a line that is added here so we want to add multiple lines at the same time in this case we would have to add two activities the first one is a mechanism to be able to loop which is an activity called for each row in data table this activity here and the table is going to be table and now we are going to put the fill form inside of it and instead of writing the whole table we want to write row by row so in the data source it can be anything it could be an array it could be anything literally so i am going to put current row and it will accept it and after that, I need to click on submit. So I will use a click activity. And I will indicate target on screen. And I will indicate the target as submit. And I will click on confirm. And that's basically it. Of course, I need data that has multiple rows to be able to see if this is going to work. So let's go here and let's see sheet 2. Sheet 2, as we can see, has multiple rows. So let's choose it from here. And let's run our process again. Let's go here to see if it's going to work. Okay, so it's writing again for the first row. Good, so it has been able to do, write the first row. Now it's going to the second row, etc., etc., etc. Good, it has finished. So if we go back, we are going to find that it has already added all of the rows inside of the sheet that we have. So this is already great, but this is not what we have talked about at the start. We said at the start that this process should be able to work on any website, not just this website, with minimal changes. So let's do this now. Let's uh, close the demo DQ and let's go to another spreadsheet called challenge. And inside of this spreadsheet, we're going to find another data where, that we are going to write inside of another website called rpachallenge.com. So we want to be able to write the data inside of here so this is a different website it has nothing to do with the other website we want this process to work on this website so what we have to change first of all is of course the data this is not something that the robots or ai can just come up with it has to be your data 
So we're going to start by going to spreadsheet, my drive, and we're going to choose the data that we want the robot to fill. And then we're going to choose the range. We only have sheet one. That's good. And now instead of this website that we have here, we are going to delete it and we are going to take this website here. We're going to copy it and then we're going to paste it here. And of course, the last thing that we need to do is change the click on submit to be fitting for the new website. So instead of that submit of the other website, we're going to use the submit. They have the same name. Sometimes it's it's a different uh, different name, either like confirm or something else. So so yeah, let's click on confirm. Good. Now that we have this finished, we can basically go ahead and run the process and see if it's going to be able to work. So let's click on run file. And see if it's going to be able to start working basically and type in inside of a new website. And as you can see, it recognized the website, started writing, and we didn't need to change anything except for two or three things inside of the process. So as you can see, this is a very strong process and the activity field form that has been introduced by UiPath is going to change so much of our behavior, either for creating proof of concepts or even going with robots into deployment. So that's a very good thing that UiPath has came up with. It's, it's almost magic, honestly. And I know like uh, the, the with large, large action models that we are going to talk about in the next videos, it's going to be taken to another level. But this already means that we are at a point where AI can no longer be ignored inside of RPA. It will change our job forever. And yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly, to see how easy it is to create these processes. Great. So the process have finished. It was two minutes. It's not the fastest process, but given the fact that it has been so easy to be created, honestly, it is a great compromise. I would be happy to have this type of process created as fast as it has been created. Okay, so the process have finished. And as you can see, now with if we have a different data that we want to fill in a different website, we can simply just change the data here and change the click inside of here. And the process is going to basically work without any other modifications. Honestly, it's, I was amazed that it, it worked as, as fine as it has. I didn't expect it to work as good. I thought this is the first version. I didn't expect its performance to be as good as I have seen, but already it's amazing. And what's coming, it's basically going to be so much better. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe because we're going to talk about so many things in AI and how it's going to change our job as automation developers. So, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and catch you guys on the next one. Peace.